I'm here at the Embedded World with Lucio Diascio. He is Business Development Manager for the 8-Bit. Lucio, I heard that you've been promoted from 32 to 8-Bit <laughs> controllers. You know, that is a story you have to explain. Okay, that could be complicated to explain. But uh, yeah, I see it a bit as a promotion. 8-Bit um, actually today is probably harder to sell than 32-bit. So they needed somebody really good. So okay, that's why they got so, and, that, and that is how they found you. Yeah. <laughs> what exactly is the magic of 8-bit controllers? Ah, what makes them going? It's, uh, it's undescribable, I don't know. It's, um, it's the mix of things. It's simplicity, it's the ease of use, it's the, uh, just the robustness of this thing. They're just hard to kill, you know? It's just, just hard to beat them. And they, they take any abuse you throw at them and they, they keep working. So that's, okay. that's the beauty of it. So trusted technology. Trusted technology and just uh, familiar, just friendly, you know, okay. technology. Not too fussy, not too okay. difficult. Good, good. And here at the uh, Microchip Boot Center, you have a couple of products, a couple of announcements. Yeah. Can, can you just show a few of your... Right. So we have a lot of uh, products here, a lot of demos at the, at the show to this year. But I'll show you just two things that two we're, things. That okay, we're great, presenting. Yeah. Okay, so the best style, pick an AVR. So after the Atmo acquisition, we always said, you know, we're going to do one and the other always together. Okay. You know, and so we're, we're keeping to our okay. promise. And so this time is no different. Okay. We have, have? A, we have a new pick, okay. which is going to be sitting here, this tiny little thing on the on the board. And, and this is a new sensor node kind of device. So it's meant to be a smart sensor end node. And for that reason, today everybody's asking for a mix of analog and digital features inside the device. Yeah. They want high resolution analog. So we threw in there a 12-bit A to D converter. Okay. And actually we threw in there a 12-bit A to D converter with computation. It's a special type of ADC. We call it ADCC or ADC squared. Yeah. And this one actually relieves the processor from doing some <coughs> low-level manual activities uh, to, to support the A to D converter. It does everything by itself automatically. Okay. Okay. It does oversampling, filtering, <coughs> it does accumulation of values, it does uh, thresholding, yeah. uh, all automatic. And so it just relieves a lot of workload from the processor. Yeah. Uh, so it frees it up to do more useful things with the okay. clock What cycles. sort of applications? So we said of? sensors, and so on this board we're showing just some typical sensors, just to show him, you know, flexing his muscles. So we have a temperature sensor, we have a pressure sensor, we have a capacitive sensor, and an inductive sensor here for metal detection. So you can sense a body, you can sense a piece of metal, you can sense pressure variations, temperature variation. And uh, in the various modes in this little demo there, we show you actually the difference in resolution between a 10-bit a result and a 12-bit result, and you okay. see the graph how more coarse it is in 10 bits, how more refined it is in 12 bits. And sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind yeah. of, yeah. you know, so a re a really development fun. platform. Yeah, it's kind yeah. of a, in a an engagement board if you want. It kind of yeah. shows off a little bit of the things you can do with a little sensor like this. Okay. Now the other thing that is happening today is that all these sensors eventually are supposed to connect to something. You know, and long gone are the days where the sensors were isolated little things. Yeah. Uh, today they have to communicate. So I will yeah. say the magic word IoT, right? So, so these sensors all have to communicate with something smarter and the protocols are complex. So what every customer is asking is more flash, more RAM. So we just doubled up the flash okay. and RAM in that small package. Okay. Versus so, the previous generation. So, just for good measure. Yeah, okay. New new opportunities for new applications. Exactly. Okay, exactly. Good, yeah. Smarter things into smaller places. Okay, good. Yeah? Okay. The other side of the universe is the AVR sure. world, right? And so, for the AVR launch, we actually launched a new 80 mega. Okay. Now, it's a little larger device. And obviously it has more flash, it has more pins and more RAM. So 6 kilobytes of RAM, 48 kilobytes of flash, 48 pins. So if you compare it to the typical Arduino AVR, yeah. right, this is kind of double it up. Yeah. Okay. And um, so this is more of a kind of command and control kind of device. And so it's more capable of controlling an entire small embedded application.
sure. Yeah. So we put it on this evaluation board. The evaluation board is more in the style that is familiar to the ABR users. So all the familiar expansion ports. But we also added a micro electronica, micro bus here. So now for quick evaluation, you can choose from 430 different sensors and actuators and radio modules. And you can just plug them in and just get them going in, in a few clicks of your mouse. So, because yeah. now they're all supported in start. So directly from the start rapid development environment of the AVR, just a couple clicks of your mouse and you're gonna get immediately all the drivers and the code ready to go with the sensor of your choice. And, but I think most importantly for the AVR aficionados out there, the AVR freaks as they call themselves, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Um, we continue to invest in it, we yeah. continue to innovate, and um, it's, it's a good refresh of the mega family. In fact, yeah. uh, one thing we can almost say is that we're borrowing so many things from the X-Megas that, that this new mega generation here with the 80 mega 4809 is really representing like an X-Mega squeeze into a mega body, if you yeah. will. So it's an interesting new generation. Though, okay, okay.